here's the basic idea. I've got the blocks on each side. Um, that's This is where all of my grow bed area is going to be. I got three of those containers. Those are just um, cement mixing buckets that I got at Home Depot a while back. And anyway, so I'm going to have three of those up there. There's room for a fourth one. And I'm going to have everything dump out into these blocks where I'm going to put a pond liner. This is going to be where I have the fish. This is going to be a pond. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have three blocks high. That'll be two feet high. And anyway, at the bottom, right there on the bottom, what I'm going to do is put this. This is uh, styrofoam. I, and I'm going to put it on the bottom. That's going to raise my... I'm going to put enough to raise it up four inches. And then I'll put one on each side. I'll have insulation. And by raising it up just a hair, it'll give me enough um, leeway so that my tarp will come up to the top and then it'll overlap just a hair. Oh man, I can't get the shot. This piece right here is called a bulkhead fitting and this is what keeps everything watertight going from inside the tub to the outside. Once the bulkhead fitting is on, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little piece and this is going to be what's called the stand pipe. So basically the water is going to fill up up to this point and then it's going to start going down this, down this opening. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this piece on top of it so once the water starts filling in through there, there's going to be a little bit of air that's trapped in there. What this piece is going to do is uh, it's going to provide a suction. So what's going to happen is that air is going to get trapped in there and then the force is going to suck that air down and then it's going to create a siphon and all the water that comes in here and fills up is going to get flushed out. Okay, so I got the bell siphon and then I got this piece here which has holes in it and I'm going to put the rocks. The rocks will be in there. This will prevent the rocks from clogging these holes and letting the water in to create the siphon. It's 10.55, almost 11 o'clock, and we just finished the aquaponics system. It's up and running. Everything's cycling. I'm not too worried about these fish because there's um, so much gunk and whatnot in the grow beds. And a couple of five-gallon buckets full of nasty water made it in there. So these fish have lived through some pretty horrendous conditions. I'm sure they'll be fine with the cycling process in here. Anyway, things are working. I'm going to go to bed. We'll check in tomorrow. Okay, well here she is all completed. I've got that plywood on there to act as a sunblock to kind of keep the algae down um, as best I can. And it also acts as a protection um, for predators or whatnot. You know, keeps things out of the water that shouldn't be in the water. Counted 79 fish. The water's a little cloudy, but um, these rocks, they were caked in sludge and whatnot. I, I tried cleaning them out as best I could. But anyway, I'm going to let this go for a couple of days. I think hopefully it'll settle down. Um, I do have one big koi fish in here, but the majority of them, the rest of them basically are all goldfish. There's two or three of them in there that are silver. I don't know what they are, but anyway, it's pretty much all just goldfish and the one koi, koi fish. But anyway, guys, here's a quick breakdown of what's going on here. I've got the pump. Right there attached to that green hose. The green hose comes up, hooks into this piece, and we follow it along and then that's dumping into these media beds. At the same time, it keeps going around. I've got a, here a valve where I can control how much. And then this piece just dumps right there. This piece just dumps right there continuously into the water. So it's constantly having some type of agitation and uh, aeration to the water. These beds here are all cycling at different times. So I showed this earlier, but the water is going to fill up until it starts going down that pipe. Then this will create a suction once it fills up. And then it'll flush out the bed. So all these beds here, not only are they where I'm going to put the plants, but the lava rock that's in them that's going to act as the filtration system. So what's essentially going to happen is any solids that the fish produce are going to end up in these beds and that's where they will um, that's where they'll break down. 
Yep. There one goes. So it's siphoning out. Once it gets all the way down to the bottom, you'll hear it gurgle and then the siphon will break and it'll fill up again. Okay, so this is officially the second system that I have up and running right now. I've really got high hopes for this thing. I think it's going to do really well. It's definitely going to be doing some adjustments here. I've got a spot right here where I can add another grow bed. Um, I want to get that water looking a little more pristine. So um, it's a work in progress. I'll have lots of updates coming on this and uh, stay tuned guys, lots more to come.